Jojo. Yeah. Ah, we want to be a billionaire. But there are things, there are steps to take before you, you can just jump and say, I want to be a billionaire. You know, this day and time, a lot of people want to just make double double. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they just want to grab mm -hmm. it, uh, grab mm -hmm. it from the idea. But life is not like that. Yes, so, yes. what our guest, uh, Grace or Laniba, said is you need to you know, encourage your children too. As parents, you need to encourage them that, see, you know, in schools these days, they do lots of vocational training. Some of these children will come to you and say, hey, Mommy, they asked us to buy uh, material for this and that. Said, well, go and sit down. Which material? Uh, <laughs> because you intend uh, them to become doctors, lawyers, engineers. That doesn't stop them from being skillful. In fact, this day, when you go for your service, youth service, they will still put you into skills training mm -hmm. ahead. So, uh, for these parents, please tell them, uh, is it that they need to wait till they start seeing some signs, some traits in their children uh, before they go or they push them or they encourage them into vocational training? Another thing is, is it, it should it be a second choice? You understand that? After pursuing uh, admission or pursuing something, or uh, maybe a course that they intend studying before, then nothing was coming forth. Then they now say, go for vocational training. Mm -hmm. Or after all the e education, after university, after polytechnic, and there is no job again. <laughs> because we are really facing lots of uh, unemployment mm -hmm. issues in, in the country right now. And the next choice you had is just for vocational training. What's your take about this? Um, I will advise the parents to allow their kids to participate in vocational training. Not only when they start uh, exhibiting some traits. Mm. There are two sides to it. Okay. As a parent, it is um, because of the situation of the economy that we find ourselves so we can't afford to just lack mm -hmm. at any area. So you, uh, uh, as you are training them in school, you need to also train them in vocational skills. I'm not saying your child should come back from school and start learning vocational training inside one Yashukura shop. No, mm -hmm. I'm not a party to that. But I will encourage you to always create the avenue. You mm -hmm. know, these children have, uh, they have time, like weekends, if, if you feel your child, based, uh, based on the strength of your child, if your child can cope with learning one or two things on Saturday, you can let your child do that. Mm. And if you feel your child can only cope during holidays, let okay. your child do it. So, That's and uh, another thing is, if you start seeing a particular trait in your child, you know some children, when they, they start drumming right mm. from the beginning mm. of mm. the heart, you can try to like unless it by uh, enrolling that child in a drumming school or whatever. Mm. So whatever it is that you've seen in the child, that the child is like, okay, you feel this thing is going to, mm. this child is going to do well in this thing. Try to encourage the child by, by enrolling him on, or her mm. in, a, uh, in a setting that will boost the, the gift of that child. And then making a vocational skill is second choice. Um, there are two sides to that too. Okay. Some people are not aware. Even though we've been uh, shouting vocational education, vocational skills, some, th some people still feel what is it. It does not, uh, it does not amount to anything. <laughs> so I will give it to you that because you, you are not aware that, okay, you can make you it can make a it. second choice. Okay. Now that you are aware, you've been doing some other things and they are not yielding the result you've always wanted. But now that you are aware that vocational skill is the order of the day, mm. it is not a second choice. It is something that you ought to do right from when you have the opportunity of doing it. Mm. It is a skill. It is this, this, this skills and uh, skills are very important. It yes, is not so. something you, you go back to. It is all. It will always be useful at hey any now. point in time. So the people will say it. Uh, I tell you when. Yes. There are times that you can even use the skill of 
fashion designing mm. in your homes. When your children's uh, uniforms are torn, you can yes. just easily pick up uh, Abere and Owu to start stitching. Mm. So now you can even make money from it. Mm. You can make money from it either by selling that skill, like training other people, All or right. selling the product. Mm. Uh -huh. So you can make it a second choice now that you know go and learn a skill and ensure that you encourage other people like you to learn mm. so for the other part I, I you know i've said those who did not make it a second choice they are the ones that are aware on time their okay. kids their kids are still very young so okay. you have the opportunity to introduce them into introduce it. them into skills mm. training mm. so that mm. is it very good very educative very informative too and you know when you have your kids I remember then, oh, why growing up, when this issue of go and learn something came up, I was like, no, if I should try it, that means I'm not going to further in my education. Mm. And now if I sit down again, it's I've learned so thing. many skills. <laughs> I've acquired so many skills mm. that, you know, even though some of them, some are still giving me money. Mm. Side is I call it side. No, 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 no. So sometimes... You think uh, you don't have um, the time, but sometimes you have the time. Let's say holiday period. Let's say you are on leave. Mm -hmm. You can still take up those things, those yes. skills that you can do. There are mm -hmm. so many things that you can do. So that brings me to the next question. How to manage your side also with your nine to five. So how do we, what do you encourage people, our listeners now? You know, they have been doing their own office work, white collar job, or they are schooling, they are doing one or two things together, and they still want to learn some skills. How do they combine this together? Thank you very much. This is a very important question. Mm. Um, as someone who is engaged uh, in a nine to five work, mm. you can manage your skills alongside if you plan very well. Mm, all right. Some people are multitasking in nature, like someone like myself. I, I can do a <laughs> lot of things at the same time. I will be doing this, doing that, but we are not all wired the same way. Right. So the thing is, there are, information technology has made things easy, easy for us yeah, now. For us. So as someone uh, in a, in a nine to five job, you can do your own business by. It depends on the kind of skill you have. All right. Depend on this kind of skill. If you have uh, a skill that involves you doing everything on your own, it would be a bit. Um, le let me say, uh, like doing, uh, it would be tedious for you. Mm. But uh, if you have the capacity of employing someone to do, to do that, do yes. So that thing, things. you outsource the things you cannot do on your own, okay. and do the things that you have the time to do. So the things that you cannot do, outsource it. Let someone do it for you. And uh, if there is anything that, if, if you are in charge of marketing your business, you know, as a business, when you're just starting out, mm -hmm. you have a business, a, a, a nine to five, and you also have your own personal business. So there are apps that we can use because this is the age of information technology. There mm -hmm. are apps that we can use to like schedule some things that uh, instead of uh, getting up, uh, this time, okay, you take permission from work. Hey, give me 30 minutes. Maybe you want to go and make a post mm. for people to buy your product and mm. stuff like that. <laughs> so instead of doing that, there are scheduling apps on yes. the, in the Play Store. So just download, schedule your post. So mm. anytime, just put on your data. If you want your post to come online by 9 a.m., you would have scheduled it. Mm. So maybe during the weekend when you are not at work, sit down, do... Uh, a, 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 a write-up on of your content prepare your content during the weekend and then you start post you schedule your post so at each of the time you have uh you have set for your uh your post to go online mm. just put on your data and it will it will be there on. so you just create the time to answer to comments and stuff like that wow. and if it's if it does not pertain to online marketing just make sure you have outsourced everything that needs to be done and then when it is time to like get back your product from those you have uh, sourced to just uh create the time and do it mm. so it's mm. uh that's great oh thank you for that but i still have a question okay. as regards that but we are we asking that question after this short 
break. Don't go away. Be right there. Are you burdened or heavy laden, tossed and crushed by the storms of the world? Or do you desire to grow in God's word? Join Shei Ajayi on NSC, where he teaches and impacts the word with salvation, dominion, power, and prosperity. NSC, every Friday from 11.30 a.m. to 12 p.m. NSC, available from God to all, only on Jolly FM. My people, you, better solution don't land though for all those nyamanyama things where they worry you for body. The solution now uh, was an pathogen eradicator. It get plenty power to fight against bacteria infection, toilet infection, mouth odor and body odor, high blood pressure, tetanus, ulcer, pile, lakpa lakpa, measles, chicken pulse, and menstrual problem. Uwasan pathogen eradicator there for every market and every pharmaceutical shop well there for our country. Because people don't savvy say Uwasan pathogen eradicator, they give confirmed results to many problems. Tell your family and everybody where you know about Uwasan pathogen eradicator to get Get your own. I be you want no more about Uwasan pathogen eradicator. Green green us for 081-719830-18 or 081-9107-1310. Uwasan pathogen eradicator. Now only profit shoppers limited the distributor. Everybody reach for Instagram. For my no day for Instagram. They call me like send a Mr. Tata. Living fake life with cheap data. They back by the world. The money not just for the year. Now the year. They back by the world. Not just for the year. Slow down. Slow down. They back by the world. Mm. You see this Instagram thing. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> it's like eh, this song knows what I wanted to ask. Because um this scheduling of post and I was reading something on Instagram was it last week and uh, the guy was telling us that do you think I'm always online? All these posts you are seeing are just scheduled. I schedule them, I just come back and sit down at my leisure time to ask to answer all your questions. So if you are listening to us and you think all those things you are seeing on social media. Some of them, we are not saying they are fake, but they are not. They may not be coming at that time that you see them. They, they, we have scheduled app that you can use to program yourself. There are a lot of people combining 9 to 5 for, with their skills with so many things. Because, ah, different sources, different sources, eh, Ulun Shinsi. That's what is working now. That is what is really working. Because the economy is really going down, down, down. And um, you, the same salary you, you received last year might be the same thing you are still receiving today. In fact, some have been reduced because of uh, COVID-19. A lot of salaries have been called short, reduced to half during last year. If at all, they increase it in January maybe to the normal salary. There is no much increase in our salaries as before. But the commodities that we are buying these days are increasing day by day. As in, the things you bought yesterday, you, you can get to the market and they will tell you oh, it's no more that price. And it's still the same thing. So you now sit down and say, what do I do now? Is it that I should go and carry gun and start selling? No. Or you can add something to what you are doing. So if your time, you think you have uh, the time 9 to 5 thing is occupying a lot of your time, there are ways by which you can do it. Online marketing, you have people you can employ. If you cannot do, if you can just find time to do some of these things, then look for people that will help you to sell them. You still have your gain. So there are so many things that you can do. But now it brings us to our major reasons why we are here, which is how vocational training can help the economic development of this nation. 
So how do you think this uh, vocational training, the skills acquisition and everything can really help us as a nation? Um, so let's start from individual. Then we'll take it to a group and we'll now bring it to the whole world, the nation at large. Okay. Uh, as an individual, vocational skills will help us in a lot of ways. Uh, one, uh, it will put money in our pocket mm. because by the time you learn a skill and you start earning from it, you are already uh, you are already making your money. So it will put money in your pocket. Mm. So um, as an individual, you you we, oh, you can also impact the people around you when you have vocational skills mm. because uh, there are so many NGOs out there. They uh, they, they train people free of charge. Wow. So as a skilled person, you can volunteer your services to them. Mm. And by so doing, you are impacting the people that are not privileged to have the kind of privilege that you had. Mm. So, the, so the opportunity is uh, very, very uh, is, wide. Is wide. So mm. we have so much opportunity as an individual. So um, as, uh, as a group of people, uh, vocational skills will help us also as a group. You are also making money. You are impacting your immediate environment. And then you are self-reliant. You are not waiting on anyone. Mm. You are not waiting on anyone as a wife. If you are skilled, you don't have to wait for daddy to drop money every time. Mm -hmm. You don't have to wait for even daddy will drop money, but daddy will not have to like pay for every damn Everything. thing in the house mm. so you have the power to do some other things on your own mm. you can cater for your immediate family without having to wait for your husband as a man it will help you to like take care of other things that needs to be done mm -hmm. in the home so uh being a salary earner is not enough in this nigeria that we have today mm. you need uh, uh, other streams of income so b when you have vocational skill when you are skilled you'll be able to earn extra cash Mm. from that and then you'll be able to support your family and the people that look up to you mm. so as a nation vocational training will go a long way in reducing the rate of unemployment that we presently have wow. and it will also increase our gross domestic product they call it gdp let me not go yeah. into the so because <laughs> by the time we start exporting what we have mm. what we produce the nation will move forward by the time we start uh, uh, encouraging those who are into skills, you allow them to like export what they produce. You are you you collect from them or buy from them and help them sell. So it will make us to believe so much in our handmade stuffs. Mm. So because so many importation is happening, so so many things are being imported. People are no longer patronizing made in Nigerian, Nigerian products. Product. So by the time they patronize uh, uh, the skilled people, mm. the, the economy will grow. People will start recognizing us that, okay, even some other countries will start coming in that, okay, these people are producing this thing. Let me just go to them and buy. Instead of us going over there to buy from them. Mm. For, uh, for example, people now use Ankara a lot. Where is our Ajire? There is, the, the Adire is striving to make it in the marketplace now. Yes, so. Adire is striving. So it is not uh, anybody's cloth again. It is for the elite. Mm. It is only those who have money to spare that can that wear Adire it. now. That is because it. the smallest Adire, <laughs> it is. It. Uh -huh. So we. It's we, not really by, encouraging people to so, buy. Yes, vocational skills will really go a long way in developing the nation. It will help us as an individual. It will make us have belief in ourselves that, okay, we are a great nation. We don't have to start running here and there mm. to seek for greener pasture mm. because what we have here is enough and our government, are, they are helping us. They're so helping. how do governments come in in all of this? Mm. It would, it, it, it's only if they create the enabling environment for the skilled people. Wow. So when they create the enabling environment, if you are able to like export what you produce, you'll be, you, you'll, be, you'll be confident that, okay, I'm a skilled person. I can mm. stand beside a medical doctor and nobody will say, who is this? Mm. Who, what is she saying? Uh -huh. So the government needs to help us. They need to uh, make it easy for anybody to have access to the, uh, the Exporting Promotion Council. So 
that is uh, hmm. one of the ways the government can come in. Wow, 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 wow. Ah, great ways. No, these ways are really great. If we can just sit down and analyze and see how we can come in and really everybody stand up and start doing what they are meant to do, especially the government. Let them help us. Let them help us. Because, you know, you have some products, just like you said, of Adire. Eh? I don't know. There was a time Kampala was really raining in the market. People getting Kampala, as, though not really cheap at that time, too. Mm -hmm. But at least we can see it on a lot of people. Uh, there are ways by which you can, you know, ed encourage people to do this. Make it cheaper. And how do they make it cheaper? cheaper because the cost of production is really high mm -hmm. it's not that these people intentionally made it so but they are not being encouraged you know something like this uh, subsidy stock if it applies to other things too not just a uh, petroleum and even on um, petroleum it has been taken mm -hmm. <laughs> so we need we need government to really wake up to this aspect of the economy and we'll see a greater economy. We are still on this show. I still have questions to ask my guests, but we'll be right back after this short break. Don't go away. Stay close. <laughs> You are listening to Jolly FM. Jolly FM. We Sabi Ginger. Touched by the storms of the world, or do you desire to grow in God's word? Join Shei Ajayi on NSC, where he teaches and impacts the world with salvation, dominion, power, and prosperity. NSC every Friday from 11:30 a.m. to 12 p.m. NSC available from God to all only on Jolly FM. You like what are the reasons why people like even in our children not just the not alone but on this platform, this platform you can call me deborah's mom tell me every tuesday on nation street by 2 15 to 3 p.m where we talk about parenting style family blending and many more everything that has to do with the family on nations on jolly and <laughs> my people who better solution don't land though for all those nyama nyama things where they worry you for body the solution now who was an pathogen eradicator it get plenty power to fight against bacteria infection toilet infection mouth odor and body odor high blood pressure tetanus ulcer pile lakpa lakpa measles chicken pulse and menstrual problem who was an pathogen eradicator there for every market and every pharmaceutical shop well, there for our country because people don't savvy say who are some pathogen eradicator, they give confirmed results to many problems. Tell your family and everybody where you know about who are some pathogen eradicator to get your own. I be you want no more about who are some pathogen eradicator. Green Green us for 081719830183018 or 081910713310. Who are some pathogen eradicator? Now only profit shoppers limited the distributor. Can't you hear our children crying? Why doesn't it break your heart? Can't you see our people dying? When did this world get so dark? We're not perfect, but we're trying. We all need to. We are not perfect, but we are trying. Mm. So we should not just talk, but we should do that which we are talking about. Today we are talking about uh, vocational training, the place of vocational education in Nigerian economy. And we have our guest, Grace Olani Ba, a text textile designer in the house with me uh, we've been talking about the what is vocational education how can you combine your nine to five 
uh, with your vocational training, uh, with your vocational skills, and your vocational knowledge. Then she also talked about you helping your children, encouraging them, especially with this uh, new uh, vocational training going on in schools. Uh, give them the right uh, knowledge, pay for their bills. Uh, those bills that has to do with uh, the training. Today they want to do SEMO. You say, I will teach you how to make SEMO. Don't worry now. Ah, ah, must I pay? Then tomorrow they want to do uh, throw pillow. You are telling your kids. No, aside from the training, don't you think that these children enjoy learning from other people? And you are also creating interest in their minds. But if you keep taking it off, taking it off, by the time they now they are now pushed to go and learn some skills, they may not really learn it fast like it should be. You think a uh, two-year-old, three-year-old, four-year-old, you are asking, uh, what do you want them to learn? What do they know of? They really know something. They know something. No, you can't really say some children, you know, they are very brilliant. Mm -hmm. They grab things easily. Some of them, that knowledge of that five years old will be what they will, you know, carry till they get older to become an adult and they are now exposed to that same thing. It is not what the teacher wants to teach them at that moment that they really grab, but the fact that they've learned it some years back because now there are so many distractions around them. But then when they were still younger, there was nothing like that. All these things were not... I remember, I can still remember when I was in primary two, primary two or one or three. I, no, it's, it should be one or two because I remember it happened in the village then. Uh, our teacher teaching us how to bait a baby. We were told to bring a uh, baby. You remember? We were, told <laughs> we were told to bring baby to school. One of us volunteered to bring baby. And uh, somebody brought bath that uh, bath there mm. then the teacher sat down bait the baby in our front even if you are the last child of the family and you are not exposed to seeing a baby being bat at least your teacher has done that in your mm. sight and you can see that ah this is how they bait baby i want to tell you my experience as a mom by the time i now became a mother though before then i've raised some of my cousins then uh, when I got married, my mother-in-law just told me, ah, you are experienced mom. Even though this is your first child, don't worry. I started beating my own child right from baby, as in baby. I carried it. I now remembered what they taught me then. So sometimes you think these children are not seeing those training, those skills, uh, those things you are telling them, do it this way. Let them say we do in the kitchen. It's mm -hmm. part of skills. Mm -hmm. Some people are really making it in cooking and in even teaching people how to cook. Telling them the kind of spices they need to use and the, the like. There's some. I, I have a cousin then. Uh, he still, thank God he's into music now. Then he will just carry spoon in the house. Boom, 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 boom. Everything. All the chair. Be drumming here and there. Fuck. In fact. We got to a time with uh, all this cutlery started missing the house because <laughs> we don't know how our drama boy where he threw the thing to and now he's still into the art of drumming after you know many years marry go randy marry go randy from one uh, training to another i want to do computer i want to do this and later he went to study music so to me i would I would say we don't need to waste time when as a very tender age we are seeing this trait in our children that this is what this child can do so we can just mix the two together why they go to school it may be all day as our guest has said it may be during all day it, it may be during um midterm break two two days like that started uh, even be weekends maybe you know this day schooling is not easy abby then i remember we coming back 1 p.m abby lower primary then upper primary 2 p.m but now six they are still in school yes, yes. then what time would they have to go extra extra <laughs> after the main school too 
then they will say extra. Mm. Then you say extra, extra, extra. Another extra. In fact, there is one school beside my house. I don't even know. Though after the COVID-19, all those things stopped. But then, they will bring bell, jingle bell, this time, this one. And I, I, I was, I was not, I, I always ask that. I don't understand this. They are bell ringing again. School thing is becoming somehow, is not really accommodating our children to go further to go and learn one skill or the other but i guess has given us expo weekends let them go and learn one skill or the other all the day time long vacation is that even schools are developing that mm -hmm. now yes. long vac all the day they are now teaching skills instead of math and english mm -hmm. because our economy hey go smile right, right? it's not smiling at all so we need to really emphasize this issue of um skill you need to really emphasize it so what are your words for people again you know we are concluding our time is really really going now what are your words for our nation nigeria our parents and all the listeners generally how can they uh what are your advice to them what are your encouragements to them um to our listeners, I will encourage us to try as much as possible to know the door yourself. Jolie, we sabi ginger.